Your storm station forecast with Chief Meteorologist Josh Eaches. Today's heat advisory expiring at 7 p.m. We will have it extended into tomorrow, same times, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Same parishes and counties will be included for the potential of several hours with that heat index at 108 or more. This heat advisory built almost entirely on the humidity. The 95 degree air temperature is not hurting, but a dew point temperature that's been at 75 and up for several days now is making it feel really sticky outside. Our 107 feel like temperature noted in the capital area. Look at this dew point map, and right along the immediate coast, we can see where there's a little bit of orange creeping onto the board. That would classify as extreme humidity when we talk about dew point temperatures. They're starting to push on 80 degrees. Only a couple of times each summer do we actually get them that high, but upper 70s are certainly in the upper bounds of what we tend to experience. Why so much emphasis on these dew point temperatures? Because the relative humidity can be kind of a misleading term. Today, real sticky, about as sticky as it gets, but our relative humidity is not 100%. It is 52% today. That's because the dew point is a truer measurement of how much moisture is in the air. When you have conditions like we do right now, an air temp of 95 and a dew point of 75, you get your feel like of 107. You actually have 100% relative humidity when the temperature and dew point are the same, so that can happen when it's snowing, but that's not a day that we call humid. Or sticky. So we look at those air temperatures now and see those mid to upper 90s across our area. Hammond is checking in at 97 degrees. And with that continued real high humidity, those big dew point temperatures, see those triple digit heat indices all around southeastern Louisiana. Gonzales is currently checking in at 109, may briefly pump up to about 110 on that heat index. Extends over into Houston, Dallas, San Angelo, triple digit readings, Brownsville, Texas. Feeling like 108 at the moment. Not much happening in those really hot areas across eastern Texas, most of western Louisiana. We're right on the fringe of where a little bit of activity is trying to develop as we push in locally. Can see that there's a shower just briefly to the southwest of Baton Rouge over Iberville Parish and another one closer to Lake Pontchartrain in the city of New Orleans. A thunderstorm over Lake Bourne south of Slidell. Tonight, though, any activity that's out there, certainly gone. 78 degree low. Be mostly clear. It'll be muggy tomorrow. We'll look for a high temperature of 95 degrees with an isolated afternoon shower storm possible. Radar might show just a little bit more activity than today. As you'll see now as we advance our future cast into tomorrow. Pausing at daybreak, clear and quiet. Come into the afternoon hours, those peak warming hours. Start to get the sea breeze, maybe to kick out a few showers and storms during the mid to late afternoon. Quickly falling apart though overnight. Friday may bring our best chance of showers and thunderstorms for the week as we see potentially a little trough sliding through our area with some morning showers and storms and the afternoon hours could have some scattered activity as well. So if we're looking for a drink for the lawns and gardens, might be our best bet. Heading into the weekend, we've actually trimmed the rain coverage back a little bit. Should be in that 30% range for Saturday and Sunday. Look at those highs staying in the low to mid 90s though. Lots of upper 70s as the nights remain uncomfortable.